everyone should be able to open and close slowly. But if they are kind of doing that TMJ frown, they have that, and they tend to brux, plus their tongue, they tend to be tongue thrusters anteriorly. They often have hypertonicity or over facilitation of the mandible elevators. They may be able to open slowly, but often their mandible just kind of snap shut. So even just that light, slow control of learning how to re-educate the mandible depressors and not overemphasize the mandible elevators is very important. Go ahead and open now all the way, as far as you can go, and close. Good, and open, and close. But she's perfect because she does what I call pack manning. That is uh, often a TMJ dysfunctional movement pattern because when people have limited mandible depression, they tend to use capital extension to further open that. So if you, again, talk about something that fills up the cup, if you've done a, t a lot of distractions and upper cervical work and they're doing lots of retractions and retractions with overpressures, if every time they open up their mouth, especially to eat, and they're doing this, they are actually, instead of only using their digastrics to open or depress the jaw, they're using their capital extensors, the muscles that you're actually trying to relax.